Tea and snacks as usual, please. Coming right up. Tea. A steadfast companion to the people of Jinja. Thank you, John Shin. We find our young monk laboring at the tea house. The tea's as good as ever. With such mindfulness and integrity, diligently she earns her keep far from the mountain of her upbringing. Hmm. Palatable, I'd say. But alas, it cannot compare to the Yunlu tea. How do you make that tea? Enlighten me, please. I'll serve it as you wish. Oh, such nerve. I'll have you know how its exquisiteness transcends your meager comprehension. <sighs> to begin with, one must carefully gather the morning dew from lotus leaves on the heads of gull puffs. Without agitating those delicate creatures, or the water won't taste as fine. Then, only the pristine shoots from elusive teal frill nests perched atop treacherous peaks will suffice. Finally, the tea must be roasted with ancient Uria wood, hailing from perilous domains right with ferocious beasts. Here you are, looking like a decent challenge. Come forth. Serenity. Clarity. Tranquility. Cleanse primal vision, gather cosmic force. Revelation, oneness, she lasts evermore! <laughs> and that's why it's impossible to- Sir, here's the Yunlu tea. As you instructed. How do you like it? <gasps> this... this is the... No! This divine elixir far surpasses any tea I've ever had! Another day, another progress. Hey! Oh. Not you again! Stop! Stop! Come back! 